and I forgot the name honestly. <laughs> is this white guy that right the white singer um, that is full of tattoos? Uh, I don't know. Post Malone. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. I tattooed Ariana Grande right after the Met Gala. And that was really strange because in the room, it was like she just showed up in like her Met Gala extreme outfit, you know, switched to like comfy clothes. I sit up in the middle of a hotel in like the Mandarin Oriental in like the top floors. And I had the whole fashion team there. Like everybody that did hairs, nails and everything just surrounding me. So it felt really strange to be in that situation and to have that much pressure after a big event. So it was cool. It was like a really fun time. I love g -Eazy. he's a good friend of mine and, and being in the studio with him and you know, cooking up songs, like I get to kind of be part of that process and see how it works. And it just inspires me when, when he's out there just, you know, creating music. My friend Sway Lee, I think he has some crazy tattoo choices that he made, but like I'm helping him like cover some stuff. So he also makes good tattoo choices, you know? So like, it's all about finding that balance, you know? If you know a good cover up artist like me, maybe you can go a little bit more crazy, you know? <laughs> Britney Spears for sure has a tattoo because I sent her a DM on Instagram going, if you ever want to cover that up, I'll do it for you. I just felt like it was on her hip and it was just kind of like older and blown up. And I, she's so pretty. I'm a huge Britney fan. And I was just like, I could just even enhance that a little bit so I matched how pretty you are. I feel like Zac Efron is way too like clean cut to have a tattoo. He's, he's way too sexy to have a tattoo. Look at those eyes, they're so no, piercing. Man. There's no way you used to look at me like that. That's why he's wearing sunglasses. No comment. Taylor Swift probably has an initial of an X mm. tattooed on it. That's, that's a fact. All right, well, I feel like Taylor Swift for sure has like an infinity with like bird blobs flying off of it on her like lower right hip bone, I would imagine. <laughs> what TMZ always calls her? No, that's Iggy, Iggy Azalea. Why would I, how the hell would somebody get Iggy and Taylor confused? Zach Efron. So thin behind you, never mind. So Dolly, I feel like She's, she might have a little secret she got a little secret. tramp stamp. Mm -hmm. she, I see yeah. a tramp stamp on yeah. her for sure. I know Dolly has one. I haven't seen Adam Sandler. She's a country tattoo. chick. She definitely got something. Oh, she I got a titty tattoo. Something. Some name on her titty. A Playboy 100%. bunny on her ankle. She got something. <laughs> I feel like uh, Adam Sandler has like like a typical like jock tattoo. Like you know, like like. I feel like he has like, like a a college tat. Yeah, like a cannoli on his arm or something. I want to say Dolly. I don't even know Dolly who is Dolly Parton. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead and sing him a song. Nope. <laughs> so I would say Adam Sandler. Margot Robbie's got like my name on that, I think. So, like, so okay, we'll go with yeah. Kim, yeah. I'm gonna go Kim Kardashian. Why is that? Because she said something super weird at one point, I think, that my wife told me about. You don't put a bumper sticker on a Bentley, and I'm like, please. You wouldn't put a bumper sticker on a Bentley. I'm sure Kim Kardashian said that. That sounds uh, like something arrogant she would say. Yeah, that sounds okay. like something Kim would say. Yeah. I could see all three of them saying that though. Most likely Kim Kardashian saying that. That's, yeah, that's a Kim thing yeah. for sure. Yep. And she's right. You wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I like your reason too. Because it's true. Like, let's say if you're gonna get tummy tucks or you're gonna get like lips and like pulls and things, if you would have a butterfly, it would kind of just like, or anything, it would just kind of get weird. It's nice seeing someone that the world thinks is really good at one thing not be so good at something else. Okay, yeah, so uh, Justin Bieber. Tattoos six nine little little rat. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, that um I I mean yeah, so many things. A swole six nine six nine with muscles <laughs> and, and a swaggy swole six nine. Uh, it says swaggy. 
That's sweet as fuck. It looks like a buff Mickey Mouse with two like weird testicle pockets. This looks like what um, teenage boys would be drawing on their notepads when they were like 16, along with like a bunch of different sizes and shapes. Yeah, I am not surprised <laughs> who did this. <laughs> a lot of this kind of has the aesthetic of like the things you would see drawn on somebody who had passed out um, at a like at a party with Sharpies, except for forever. You got A-OK, -okay, Justin Biebs. You can do one of those on me. It invokes a lot of emotion, I'll tell you that. It invokes a lot of emotion. Whoa. Hold on. That is like, that looks like one of Pony's statues. Uh, like, just a realistic version of what Takashi 6 9 looks like. So 6 9 is popular today. So yeah, he said so we have two portions of 6 9 That's what's up. Um... Man. Man, that's a tough one. Um, you know, uh, I guess Steve-O did it, and I would love to get a tattoo by Steve-O, so I don't care, but that is a shit tat, man. Woo! Looks like his corpse. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that person really regrets that now. Not because of the way it looks, but like, gosh, he's kind of a little bitch, right? Yeah, no, why, why would you, like the subject matter and then the execution and everything is just, I'm kind of just, that's a bit of a bummer, but crude for you, Steve-O. Steve-O is great though, I love Steve-O, uh, uh, but that tattoo ain't it, Chief. So first off, Katy Perry is my homie, not in real life, in my mind. Many years ago, one of my best friends, he was like, yo, we need to do a picture of you naked like a little baby with your butt in the air, and we put you on some pink cotton candy clouds. Well, later on, I then found out that that picture looked exactly like one of her album covers, so I was like, yo, you're my girl, Katy. Maybe he had one too many Bud Lights, man, but, um. Yeah. I feel like I would only want a tattoo from Post Malone if it looked like shit, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't want a nice tattoo from Post Malone. I'd want a shitty one. Would you get out on your face like uh, he has? The one thing I would not do is get that shit on my face. Would you let him tattoo your face? Man, you the face tattoo guy. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say hard no on that one. You don't look at that and go, oh, they tried to do a good job. It's like, no, they were just having a good time. And I love that. Uh, I think that that's the kind of thing where I'm like, it's just janky and the lines are kind of fat and like screwed up, but the design is simple enough that it works. Now, now I've been being nice here, but that thing is fucked up. That, that thing is jacked. Jesus. But I mean, I'm sure the, the, the person who got it's happy because they got a tattoo from Post Malone. I mean, how many people can say that? But that thing's fucked up. It's good. It's good. It's a good one. I think that anybody that sees this tattoo is just going to laugh. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Listen, first off, I love Margot Robbie. Is her name Margot? Mar How do you pronounce her <laughs> name? Margot. Mar Mar Margot. Oh. Here we go. Silent T. I'm pretty sure people have seen I, Tanya, but if, if you haven't, watch that until you die. That has to be so incredibly painful. <laughs> <laughs> you got me again, Margo. Hey, that's not, that's not bad. You know, I've never tattooed the bottom of a toe before. I imagine it's like tattooing beef jerky or something. It sounds god awful. I love Tanya Harding. I love Margot Robbie. I love Allison Janney. And I love Cara Devine's eyebrows. So this that has a lot of a lot of stuff that I like in it. Um. You know, everybody love Rihanna. I have personally no beef with Rihanna, but them stars behind the ear. That sh caused me so much tension in my work life for so long, trying to talk girls out of it. Like, boo, you ain't Rihanna. I, so here's the thing. You're gonna come in here, get these stars, and you're gonna keep working at Walmart and sh And then they're not even gonna like that sh Walmart, so you're gonna lose your Walmart job, and now you ain't got no skills, and you ain't Rihanna, girl. You ain't Rihanna. Pete Davidson 
kind of looks like he found a hamper full of tattoos and he just dove in and like rolled around and then hopped out and like whatever was stuck to him because he seems like a nice guy but he also seems like he might be like a little bit sticky like to the touch like an ihop uh table he's just covered in syrup at all times so whatever stuck to him he just came out and he's like that looks good let's go